Hey, and welcome to Expat Your Life. My name is Abram, and I'm the host of the show. Well, normally I am. Today, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different, following the do your research uh, part. This is partly due to us being on lockdown uh, because of the virus. Uh, it has taken hold here in Vietnam, and it's on its fourth wave. So things are tightened up quite a bit. You can get fined for just being outside uh, with or without a mask, as long as if you don't have a valid reason. So I'm gonna start filming from home uh, and uh, hope that everyone stays safe, okay? So today's topic is gonna be about language and why it's important when you're thinking about immigrating or expatriating to a new country or just even taking a short trip. Short, short trip. All right, let's jump right into the topic. When relocating or traveling, uh, why is language important? Well, I mean, it's obvious. We need to be able to communicate our thoughts, our opinions, or we need to be able to ask questions, navigate around, ask where the bathroom is, order food. Uh, all of this will be super important for you in order to live or even to spend any amount of time in a certain country. Now, what should you look for when you're doing your research? Well. One of the things that you need to definitely pay attention to is the language that's spoken in the country. Now, wait, that should be simple, right? Just Google it. Yeah, I mean, that is. But it can become a little bit confusing if you go to a country that has more than one official language. Uh, there are countries out there such as like South Africa, China, uh, 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 India that have different languages and different dialects and they're all the, the like official languages of the country. How do you know which one to choose? Well, this is where you have to do a little bit more research on the region that you plan on going uh, and uh, diving a little bit deeper into it. All right, so we've got the language part and figuring out what language is where and what region speaks what language. What's the next part that you need to look at? Well, the next part is, do they understand your native tongue? So English is a very widely spoken language uh, in the world and it's you know acceptable for most business uh, and, and transactions that are done. However, it is not actually spoken everywhere. I know this from, from previous experience. The first country that I moved to once I left the United States was Japan. And I was like, cool, Japan, uh, I should be fine. I'll probably get placed in a larger city. That wasn't the case. I was put out in the countryside and uh, in the town that I was in, the little town that I was in, uh, I say little, it was 150,000 people. Uh, I was like one of four people that spoke English uh, in the whole town. And it was a pretty wide area. Uh, it had three or four train stops in it. So something to keep in mind. Uh, so, that's super important. When I went, I was under, under the assumption that, oh, somebody will be able to speak English there. It'd be easy to find the translation, easy to make friends that speak English. That was far from the truth. So I didn't do my research. I learned, uh, uh, <laughs> I learned a lesson from there. Luckily, I had started studying Japanese before I went and uh, I was able to speak a little bit, able to get my way around, and I understood quite a bit more than, than I could speak. So that was, that was a good thing. Uh, so that is super important. Now, we've talked about doing your research, figuring it out. What's next? Well, how do you learn the language of the area? Well, one of the ways that I learned was I had apps and books and flashcards. Those were all great. However, I found another way of learning language much quicker, much faster. But you will need to block out roughly about a week of your time in order to do that. And that would be to take post-it notes and label everything in your surrounding. And anytime you interact with that object, you make sure you say the word three or four times. Try and use it in a sentence while you are studying eight to 12 hours a day. 
Uh, this is a quick and easy way uh, of learning the language, being immersed in it, and try to go out and use the language on a daily basis. Now this isn't from my personal experience. This, I'm taking this from people that I've seen and stories that I've heard, as well as uh, some studies that I've done on my own for learning languages faster. And that's the best way of doing it. Now, other ways that you can do it, if you don't have about a week of time to set aside, would be using apps that you use daily and studying, using books, or even making friends. One of the apps that I used when I was in Japan uh, to help me was Duolingo. I'm not sponsored by them at all, I'm just letting you know this is what I used when I was there, and this helped me with vocabulary and basic grammar. Another app that I used to kind of practice what I've learned and, and try to go deeper was italki. Um, italki was a great language exchange app. Uh, so I would meet with people virtually and we would speak for about an hour, half an hour in Japanese, half an hour in English, and we would help each other learn that way. Eventually you can, if you are on italki, you can grow that and start doing lessons instead of language exchange if you find people who are interested in talking with you on a regular basis and want to take lessons and, and enjoy what you're able to do. So this is another way of you making a little bit of income on the side. All right, so we've got those. Those are my tips and tricks. Now, one of my other tips and tricks is to spend at least one hour a day speaking in, the, in your target language. Uh, and if you can, write a page a day in it uh, once you get to a certain point. This will help you reinforce that language and make it stick for a lot longer. All right, well, these are my tips and tricks for language. I hope that you enjoyed them. If you like the comment, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more of this content, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I will be releasing videos about once a week. Uh, now, if you have any comments uh, or if you have any suggestions or anything you wanna know, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to try and answer them or give you my opinion. All right, thank you. Until the next time. Stay